Hi, my name is Mamiki Malapo, and I'm with the My Growth Academy. Today, we are going to talk about financial wellness for women. I want to talk to the women out there about women and money. You realize that the pandemic has really shifted a lot of things in our society, lots of things in our lives, lots of things that we had planned for. But hey, it happened, it happened around the world, it happened to us, so what do we do as women? One of the things that I find is that women do not take the time to learn about money. We don't take the time to educate ourselves about money. So what happens when we are not educated? We often feel depleted and exhausted. When we are not well, just like when your body is not well, financially, if you're not well, you feel exhausted, you feel depleted, you feel scared, you feel all sorts of feelings, but hey, take heart. You know, when we learn about money, we get to a point where we can regroup, we get to a place where we can have a better control in things that we're doing. Here's what normally happens. Women do not believe in themselves when it comes to money matters. Why? Because sometimes we grow up being told that we are not good with money. Have you heard that? When you're told, mm -mm, women are not good with money, leave it to the boys. In fact, it's almost like the games that we play. You know, we're given dolls to play with. It's good enough. You're a housekeeper, you're a mommy, you're ever. And the person who goes out, even when we played house, where I come from, we would play house. The people who would go out and work are the males. So by association, it said to us that we were not good with money. Maybe you grew up in that background where you were told that women are not good with money. And so it makes you not to want to get involved with finances. How about if you grew up in a home where money was a stressful situation. It was a source of so much stress because there wasn't enough, they went out to work, but when they came back from working, mom and dad sometimes, and sometimes mom alone, it was so difficult for mom and dad to make ends meet because why? The money was not enough. What about if you grew up just being afraid to take action, just being afraid to take that responsibility, just being afraid to say, look, I can do this. You are excluded. If you grew up under all those circumstances, you realize that money management may not be a strong point and you may not be financially well. Well, as women, we spend too much time working hard, making money, but we don't take enough time to learn how to manage the money. So it is our responsibility to take the initiative to learn about the money. You need to invest in yourself, learn about money, learn about how it's created so that we can go from money, we can go to riches and wealth because that's where we want to end up. We all want to end up there. It's my responsibility, it is your responsibility as a woman to take care of the money you work so hard for so that you can grow it for posterity. You know, the Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. You are a man too. You need to leave a good inheritance. But how can I leave inheritance when I do not even know how to handle what I have been entrusted with? So, I dare you as a woman, woman to woman, I dare you, take the time and invest in yourself to learn about money. Because when you do that, you boost your own money mindset. You boost your own comfort zone. You boost your own um, assurance that I can do this. Because when we learn about money and we know about money, guess what happens? we feel more in control of our lives. Your life can spiral out of control because you have no knowledge of money. I want you to be well. There's a scripture that says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. In all things, financially, I want women to prosper and be in good health. If you don't know enough about money, 
You need to learn about money so that you can get to that zone of being in good health. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for just taking the time to tune in and say, I'm going to learn about this. I want for you to please, please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, number one. And you know that little bell that goes ding, 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 press it. Because if you don't, you will never know that we've put some more material up. And it's for your health, for your children's health that you learn and you grow. But then secondly, like us on Facebook. Everybody likes to be liked. So like us on Facebook, but then also follow us on SoundCloud and you will be amazed. If you follow us on SoundCloud, I'm sure we'll put you on Cloud9. Um, you know, follow us. It will be so nice. Thank you so much for taking this time. I really appreciate that you've invested your time to sit and listen. Till next time. Bye.